Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks again for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm not going to waffle too much this time. I'm not going to talk about the weather. I'm not going to talk about anything else. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do over the next couple of days and what this video is going to be about. And so tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., I'm heading off to South London. I start at 7 a.m. I'm doing a morning, day in the life, a morning in the life, it's going to turn out to be, uh, with a couple who I've not yet met, actually. So it's going to be fun. I'm going to go head down there. And the way I do these day in the life shoots is that it's totally candid just like the way I shoot my weddings and you may have seen some of the footage already some of the films the photo films on my website or on this YouTube channel so with that in mind the fact that I'm going to do that tomorrow and then I've got two weddings this weekend one up in uh, Suffolk and one in back in Richmond in London so I'm all over the place for the next few days but with that in mind with the day in the life tomorrow I thought it might be interesting to just bring up one of my last day in the lives uh, some of these pictures you've seen before um, not too many of them but a couple of them and I'm just going to talk to you basically about some of my favorite images from this session, how I shot them, why I shot them, how these day in the life sessions evolve. And hopefully you'll get some hints and tips about kind of shooting this stuff. And really it's just about daily life, you know, your kids at home, your family at home, all of this stuff we're gonna talk about will be relevant to that as well. So with that in mind, let's get over to the computer. We'll go through some of the images and then towards the end, you'll see the final slideshow, which I think is about three minutes or so. So I hope you enjoy it. And of course, as always, if you do enjoy the channel, if you do enjoy this video please subscribe please like please share uh, it really helps me out and uh, I'll see you over there on the computer I'll see you in a second okay so here we are in Lightroom and as I said I'm going to go through a few of the images and then you'll see the final slideshow at the end now the whole point of these day in the life sessions really is to just capture the general everyday hubble bubble the turmoil the troubles the love the emotion all of that good stuff that happens during everyday life at home, I guess. Now this particular client I photographed many times before. In fact, the little girl and the little boy, I have photographed their births. You'll see the links to those below and in the YouTube link above also to the last uh, photo film, which included both of them. So I'm just gonna step through a few of the images. You'll see there's a whole load there in the timeline at the bottom of Lightroom and I'm just gonna select a few random ones. And this is actually one of my favorite ones, a very simple image, and I showed this in a previous video. It's all about the light. We've talked about this several times on this channel before. Light, composition, and moment are what makes a picture. And if you can get good light, good composition, and a good moment, then you'll, you'll have a great image regardless. Um, now we're just stepping through some of the images here and essentially what happened during the day was I was I was there for the afternoon I was there for a few hours in the afternoon it wasn't a whole day so you know it's it's kind of a an afternoon in the, in the life if you like and um, you know it was great they were just messing about making dinner and uh, super mum here with one baby on her uh, pouch and one helping in the kitchen it's doing uh, you know she's doing everything and you can see here this is actually shot on the GFX this particular one 63 mil so there you go for zoom and you can see the detail there uh, it's beautiful you know there's nothing there's nothing special about these pictures in terms of art but they are just happy memories you know and they're purely based on this idea of light and moment and you know in this case dad's just come home from work and a uh, little girl is you know is happy and jumps up into his arms a little bit of a cuddle and and you know who who would not want an image like that, I think, as a dad or as a little girl, you know, in years to come? Now, later in the day, it got very difficult because the sun, where they live, they have beautiful kind of sunshine streaming in through the kitchen at times. And it becomes very difficult to shoot in that environment when you have very, very harsh light. And so what I'm doing, and you can see it here also in this image, is that I'm utilizing the light as best as possible. Now, I, I actually shot these images in RAW. So these are edited images from RAW. And what's happening in terms of my thought process throughout is that I'm gonna convert them to black and white. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, although, you know, I'd spoken to the mom and she's like, yeah, maybe we'll have some color stuff as well. So that was the decision not to actually shoot on the day in particular JPEG. So I shot in RAW, but I actually chose a black and white film simulation in the camera, probably Acros. And the reason for that is because when you shoot in black and white, even if you're shooting in RAW, but if you shoot in a black and white film simulation, then you will see the light so much better. You will just see it in the viewfinder. Try it next time you pick up your camera. You have to use a camera with an EVF, so one of the mirrorless cameras with the electronic viewfinder. It won't be as useful for you if you're using an optical viewfinder, such as a DSLR or the optical viewfinder on an X-Pro 
2 or an X100F, but try it. Just try switching the camera to a black and white film simulation, even if you're shooting raw. So you're always going to have your color edit at the end, but you will see, you will learn to see the subtleties of light and the way that light falls and the, the spill of the light on the people. And then if you couple that with spot metering, I will shoot most of this in spot metering mode, rather than shooting it all manually, I'll be probably an aperture priority, but using the spot meter in to just very finely decide on the shutter speed. And I, you know, the ISO also will be controlled by the auto ISO. Now, as we move forward into the, the later afternoon, early evening, you'll see that the images change dramatically because now we're in a room that has very little kind of natural light. It's fluorescent light. Uh, they're still beautiful images. It's the end of the day now, so they're kind of having a bath and cleaning their teeth, etc. But the the concept of the way that I'm shooting has to change. It's still based on light, of course, but it's a more about using exposure compensation and setting the exposure accordingly, perhaps even manually. Uh, to get the right images that I need. And they're also a little bit more grainy there. So if I flick through some of these images now, I'm just gonna pick out a couple more of my favorite ones as we kind of come to the end of looking through the, 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 fun, the thumbnails. Um, there we go, it's another GFX 63mm, 250th of a second image, uh, nice and detailed. Another one there, you know, from the angle, I'm just going down, shooting through past the, uh, the mum, looking at the little daughter there. Now, in this case, if I crop all this really tightly, and you can see this already cropped, by the way, for the widescreen uh, for YouTube. So you can see there, actually, I could get away with cropping in massively. That, that would be a huge crop. It's already cropped at 16 by 9. Um, you know, nice little image there also. Again, remember the light. So I'm positioning myself with the light to my back in these environments because with the light to my front, I'll be working against the light rather than working with the light. And working with the light is the most important thing, I think, in all of these uh, situations. When you're working with ambient light especially, really important to remember that. So some of these other images later on or earlier in the afternoon, uh, you know, make me smile, make me laugh. There was a whole period of time when once they'd done the dinner, they were, I mean, look at this one. This is, I've, I've shown this image once before, I think. And, you know, I just adore this little baby. It's just kind of, you know, he just needs his mum. Simple as that, just needs his mum. Uh, and it's, you know, they're, they're kind of nice images. Now here again, back in the kitchen, you can see some of them. And this little sequence here uh, kind of makes me laugh. And this is perhaps my favorite image, I think, where, you know, she's just kind of stealing a little bit of food and uh, while mum's putting some um, medicine into the little baby there. So there we have it. That's the, the full set in the photo film. Uh, just very quickly whipped through in Lightroom and I will show you the whole photo film now it's coming right up after this and like I said a very short one today uh, I hope you like it I hope you enjoyed it please do share please all of that good stuff and enjoy the photo film